so normally we like to do a few fun videos in between our serious and foster type videos. Today we're gonna do both. We are out here at Henning State Park. The kids and I are gonna go hiking and I am excited to talk to you a little bit about the effects of trauma on us as foster parents and adoptive parents. So I guess it's time to get the kids out of the car. Today we are at Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area, Missouri Conservation Department, and we've been finding a bunch of BBs, and look what it says. No hunting. Hey Bentley, can you show me some of the BBs you have? See, we've been finding a bunch of them. There's still snow. Oh, that's water. If it's snow. There's still snow. There's snow. Okay, so this place might look familiar to you. We are at Ruth and Paul Henning State Park. This is one of our favorite places to hike because it's not far from our house and also um, it's really well marked. So it's just me and the kids today. Jared is on the tail end of COVID, which we're so grateful for, but he stayed behind. Hennings several times before but we have not started from the bottom so today we're gonna start all the way from the very bottom so this is maybe. usually where we start right yeah we here. normally start like at the beginning maybe yeah this is on right on highway 76 and it's a beautiful lookout area so this is usually where we start but today oh, we are right here so right by what is this place you guys this is our favorite creek spot in the summer so I am actually using an app off my phone today because Jared is the videographer of our family and I don't know how to use his camera. So I am using uh, my headphones for the mic and this app called Movie Pro. So Graham is like the best hiking dog ever. He absolutely loves it. Uh, he even has his own backpack now, as you can see. Hi Graham. So today though, he doesn't know it, but he is walking without a shot collar because I forgot it. Um, he's never taken off after wildlife before. So I'm not too worried about him, but we like to have that as insurance. Hey look guys, a camera. Okay, so Graham is really weird because, well, he likes to go to the front, we like the lookout, and then he likes to go back to mom to tell her what's going on. So we decided to take advantage of today because it is supposed to be forecasted close to 60 degrees today. But in a little over 24 hours, we are expected to have a pretty significant um, ice, winter, snow type storm. So we are taking advantage of this while we can today. Um, but one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you about was the effects of trauma on foster parents and adoptive parents. Um, it's something that we learn a lot about in uh, training for our kids and the kids that we're going to serve and adopt and foster, um, but it's not really something we talk about um, its effects on us. Boom, boom, boom. So this subject is super personal to me because 
I actually suffer duh, and continue to suffer from what is called secondary trauma. Um, secondary trauma is basically just when a caregiver um, experiences PTSD-like symptoms um, due to their um, uh, awareness of involvement in perhaps uh, proximity to um, someone else who is experiencing trauma. Um, very common in counselors and foster parents, um, but it's not really something we ever talk about, which is why it is kind of a passion of mine to get the word out. What you need to know about secondary trauma the first thing is is it's real and you are susceptible to it um, there is a quote that I will put up here um, by a professional he said something to the effect of um, be immersing yourself in suffering every day and expecting to not be affected by it is like walking through water and not expecting to get wet Okay, whoa, see that's what I was gonna show you. We are stuck in tons of ice, cause it might be January 31st. The two older ones, Alexis and AJ, um, they have already fell and fallen off the ice uh, by slipping. Very slippery. The second thing you need to know about secondary trauma is it's not going to go away. Unfortunately, if you're thinking, I'll feel better after um, this placement goes home or after this adoption is finalized, it's just not going to happen. And in fact, for me personally, um, my secondary trauma turned into full-blown generalized anxiety. So it's definitely something that you need to deal with. And um, how you do that could be through talking to your doctor, through talking to a counselor, talking to a trusted friend, um, but just know that it's just not gonna go away on its own. We've been doing every trail, which we didn't intend to do every trail, but we've happened to do it now because we took a few wrong turns and that led us to Another trail, which led to another trail. We just got finished with the blue trail. And then on the orange trail, we'll go up, and then we can go back to the creek. So the last thing I want you to know about secondary trauma is that it's okay to ask for help and to get help. Um, surrounding yourself with other foster parents is always a great idea, super helpful to be around other people who get it, you know? If you are around other foster parents, be aware of the signs of secondary trauma and just support them, love them no matter what. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let us know in the comments below and we can't wait to see you again next week. Let's go in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Peace.